make your short presentation about Entertainment Earth. Please. Yes, absolutely. So Entertainment Earth was created back in 1996 by Jason and Aaron Labowitz, and it was a way to make collectibles way more attainable for the common guy. Um, at that time, it was really dominated by the industry, by like Hasbro and all the other big things. So we wanted to create this company to make it so that everybody could get collectibles, and that's why we're here today. Um, we've got so many different licenses. We've got Star Trek, we've got uh, Star Wars, we've got the Manuel Miranda, we've got so many different ones, and um, we're just so excited to just be able to have this as a community instead of just a shop and like a retail and wholesale type thing. We wanted to make it more of a community so that everybody feels like they're within the realms of each other. Why can you tell us about your new exclusive uh, San Diego Comic Con toys? So we've got so many. Um, should I go ahead and grab them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So. Yeah, so we've got a few different Comic-Con exclusives going on today. The first one I wanted to show you is this 8-bit Batman pop. Um, this one's really cool because it was created from the NES game back in the 90s or the 80s, whatever it was. But it's, a, it's an 8-bit pop. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you guys yeah. what it looks like. Okay. And this one's awesome because of the colors. And it's very weighty too, which is what we love about the 8-bit pops. Usually pops are a little bit lighter, but these ones are very weighty because they feel really solid. And you can kind of see all the 8-bit designs around it. And I think my favorite part about this is definitely the colors, just because it looks exactly like the video game, and it's it's totally awesome. Nice. And then for some other ones, we've got these cute whittles. Now, these were designed after the Japanese Kokeshi dolls. Um, they're just a stylized version of, of just making them look really cute. And I think we really love these because it makes the most fierce girls look so adorable, but still fierce at the same time, which I think is amazing. Wonder Woman happens to be my favorite, in case you couldn't tell. So I'm going to open her up. <laughs> and these ones are amazing. So these are all wooden, and they have 360 degree art paint on them. You can kind of see, she's just looking super adorable. And I like this line a lot because um, it could be, for kids and collectors alike, it's not really native to any one type of demographic. So really anybody can enjoy this, and uh, I just think it's, it's really sweet. Yeah. And we've got other ones over there. Um, should we show the, the Batman one, the Kusumingas? Yeah, let's go ahead and show that. Yeah. We've got, from the DC Artist's Alley, we've got Batman as designed by Chris Omega. So it comes in three different versions. We have this blue and gray one. We have this black and gold one, and then we've also got the red and black one, which is really cool. And so all three different variants. And what's extra special about these is that they come with an art print within the figure and in the box. They come with an art print that is actually signed by Chris Amina himself. So it kind of gives you a little more uh, connection with the artist with the figures. So we really like them. And um, what else can I show you guys? <laughs> Anything else you guys are more interested in than others? Do you want, do you want me to go through all of them? Or? Yeah, we get the demo. Go ahead if you want to pull that one for me. Actually, go ahead and grab the gauntlet too if you can. I like that one a lot. I think yeah. it's fun to show. I put that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay. Can we take pictures during? Yeah, well, so the guy downstairs is actually um, demonstrating it. You guys saw yeah. him. So if you want to go ahead and take more videos and photos of him, because that looks good. I, I, I will go after. Okay, yeah, yeah. You mean like during like whole thing too? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Okay, just making sure. Um, Alright, so I'll show you guys this one. This is actually a Deadpool and Cable wooden push puppet. If you guys remember push puppets from way back in the day, they were those little figures that you push up at the bottom and then they kind of flop over and then they land back up again. So they're really cool. This one is actually Deadpool and you can see he's got baby Cable on his chest. And uh, this one's fun. If you've seen the new Deadpool 2 film, you'll know that their Cable plays a pretty big role in it. So this is a really cute figure to have. We've also got this Infinity Gauntlet, which is very, very relevant right now. If you guys have all seen Avengers Infinity War, you'll know why. And so we wanted to make this one just so that you can have your own Infinity Gauntlet if you want to snap the world away yourself. <laughs> nice. And then over uh, here... I put it yeah. Yeah? Good? Okay. So then here we've got a couple of Harry Potter items from Wow Step. And what's really awesome about Wow Step... Sorry. <laughs> is it too loud? Okay. So what's really awesome about Wow Step is we're actually the first ones to have it available in the U.S. So you can only get them here right now. Um, this is awesome. 
all see because these are mystery snitch and the feather and wand. And um, if you guys have seen Harry Potter, you know that it's so magical and just the people flies flies away. So we wanted to have these guys so that you can also create the magic yourself and you can float your feather when Guardian Leviosa or you can catch your snitch during a game of Quidditch. Whatever it is you want to do, you've got it available. Thank you. Perfect. Good? Awesome. Good, yeah. It's five minutes.